I'm Isabel Cubilla. I'm the National Coordinator for Kids Program in Panama Bilingüe. Uh, the Kids Program is an ambitious uh, strategy. This program uh, provides kids with 10 hours of English, physical education, and also technology in English. So we want the kids to uh, have more opportunities in using the language to communicate. So we are trying to do more strategies in order to get this goal. Before Panama Bilingüe, we had a competency-based curriculum. And this curriculum doesn't fit what we really want to achieve. Then, in one of the TESOL conferences, and they presented the global scale of English. And we say, bingo, this is something that we want to make in our curriculum, to study how we can do it. And then we decided that we need to change the whole curriculum. My name is Tatiana Sanjur. I am the National Coordinator of the After School Program EDUCA. The After School Program is a program uh, directed to the students from the official schools, um, trying to give the students the opportunity to learn English and during three or four days a week, three hours a day for six months. Uh, the first challenge was to to convince the students to take after after school classes. They didn't want to to spend more time than the five hours that they used to to take at school. Then the second challenge was uh, to prepare the teachers to get prepared teachers for this course. I think that uh, when we talk about this, uh, talk about the GSC to the teachers, it was a new world for them because it has, it, it is focused on the student, not on the teacher. Uh, teachers get engaged with this because it helps them to move the students and to move them as a teacher. My name is Libet Romero. I'm the Training Center's National Academy Coordinator for the After School Program at Panama Bilingüe. The Progress Test is a test that helps us identify our students' level of proficiency in the language and besides that to get immediate results that would help teachers as well as students to move forward and evaluate their own learning and for teachers to assess themselves as teachers. Teachers have improved their confidence. It was kind of, of challenging at first because they were accustomed to one teaching approach and now they have to be more flexible. They have to uh, take more time in lesson planning, but now they're able to see the results. My name is Maria Milagro Garcia. I will work here at the University, Quality Leadership University, as an academic coordinator for the English program. At the university, we work for um, the English programs. We have the undergraduate programs as well, and we have the master's degrees. Um, we also have the after school program for Meduca. We have um, selected, along with Panama Bilingue, the progress test from Pearson. And we at the university use also the Versan test for our own uh, workers. Comparing uh, the new assessment, the progress test, uh, from the first take and the second one, the students actually developed a lot of skills because they recognize their weaknesses. Most of the uh, students from the uh, after school program, they come here thinking that they might have an opportunity, but they are not aware of how this would change their life. 